Hey, so here's Shannon the Superwoman who single-handedly built this trailer that you see behind you. Hang on one second. So here's Shannon the Superwoman who single-handedly built this trailer that you see behind you. So this is one step above a tent, <laughs> but not much. <laughs> well, I mean, you have a door. I have a door and it locks. Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. secure. So awesome. I can't wait to hear about it. Okay. All right. So my husband already had this toolbox, so I used it to store anything I might need, like tools, jacks, whatever. Uh, and I see you put you cook. Do you cook yeah. right here? Yeah, that's where I cook. What's oh, a really good height in it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's the perfect height for it. And I see that you've got your air conditioner mounted up with angle iron. Right. It's not going anywhere. No. Since I don't have electric actually in the trailer, I use um, this insulation to cover up my coolers, and it works pretty good for several days. If you feed, if you freeze large blocks of ice and put in there. So I had to have, my spare originally was mounted on the front so when I enclosed it I had my uncle put it on the side and mm -hmm. then it takes up less room. Takes up less room and, and like he also said that, that would help balance the trailer. Nice. But it's Tongue like a plywood. Or, yeah like a plywood on the side. Yeah. I, I suppose it's treated you know. Yeah and I, I painted it with um, house exterior house paint. I gotcha. Great. And so you use a lot of caulk on it? Yeah, but I use it as a stretchy caulk. Uh -huh. It was like extreme stretch or something uh, like gotcha. that. Because this thing's moving around a lot. I got you. And this is just, um, oh. It's like angle on, or it's like a flashing. Flashing, uh -huh. like roof flashing, edging. Uh, I got you. And I like the little uh, decorative well, This was actually you... scrap ah. left over, so I just kind of scalloped it and put it along the edge. I love that. And then more storage here. Yeah, you just shelf. And I like mm -hmm. how you put your and this, leveling jacks on and there. And this this works out good if you have a flat too. And the door my dad had given me. It's an old actual closet door from an old house. So, so it's kind of a memorial to dad every time you yeah, go in. This actually came from his aunt's house, the little M. Uh -huh. And it was actually a W. I just turned it upside down. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And then this I got later on. Uh -huh. And it's it's paying tribute to that this was formerly a cow trailer. Oh, I got you. I got you. And you put a couple windows in there up there, I yeah, see. Yeah, they're not perfect, but they work. They're windows. They're little windows. Uh-huh. They add light. I like that. All uh, right. Down here, this actually can be a step, but I've got to do some work on that so that you it's not too tall. Otherwise, the door won't open. Uh, just talk about the chalkboard. Oh, uh, the chalkboard was just to... Kind of fill in that space. And me and my daughter draw on there, whatever. All right, this is the original hut. This is a, a top bar on the cattle trailer. And I left it unpainted on purpose. Just because that's what it originally was. Mm, cool. So when I took it to my uncle to have him weld, um, I had him extend the hut up. So that my husband could actually get in here and stand up. He's 6'3". Cool ceiling. And um, the ceiling tile is actually paper. And I got it from my dad's house after he passed away. And um, I put it up here in the front panel. It's behind the TV. I love that. And so you got your TV. That air conditioner over got there. Air conditioner. And really yeah. that's all I needed. There's usually restrooms. and. Mm -hmm water and everything mm -hmm. wherever we go and you've got this for storage a little hammock kind right of, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm still working on it it's still a work in progress aren't they all <laughs> so aren't they all i bought these for this 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 year's trip with the bunk beds with the bunk beds uh -huh. they collapse yep uh if y'all hear that that's the sasquatch morning here at beaver's bend look at this little area that her daughter sleeps in and then the top part comes off, she said. Right, right it, here, so you can this take is it called off. a um, disco bed, and all this collapses. These pop out, and they stay in because of tension. How cool is that? So you can take it completely. Ah, and it doesn't take up any apart. room. It like folds so up. So when we get ready to leave, I'll completely collapse these down, and that way I can put my bicycles in here, 
all my paraphernalia that I have outside I can bring in so that we can leave. I love that. Oh, it's just so quaint. And there's really a lot of room in there. Yeah, you I know? Mean, Five by eight. Yeah, it's enough for us to sleep in and feel safe. I love that. It's so good. How long have you had it? Um, a year. Oh, uh, just a year. Uh -huh. So it this is. This is only our second camping trip out. Oh, uh, so you're still getting the bugs out. So I'm still changing stuff, painting stuff, caulking. And but I, it's roadworthy. Oh, you good? Uh, yeah, it's pr <laughs> it's proven. And I see. Is that just a 12 volt light that you have up there? They're um, they're like under cabinet lights. And three is plenty. Yeah. Lights up the whole thing. Dude, I love it. And I have one heavy cord for the air conditioner, and then for my TV and my phones and stuff, I just use a. Power strip type Power thing surge. yeah, with your with USB it. on it. Mm -hmm. I love it, Shannon. So, okay, Shannon, thank you so much. You're we really appreciate it. And I love the sentimental aspect of, of what it is. Yeah, it means a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Okay, there's the Sasquatch warning. I mean, it's like tribute every time. Watch you, out behind you. <laughs> oh, that's just her husband. <laughs> uh, don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, it's just a tribute every time you walk into it. It's just, uh, that's crazy that it's started fun. out as a cattle trailer. Right. Uh, that's great. And it was really dilapidated too. It didn't even have the wheels on it. The uh, fenders were off. There were no sides on it at all. So it's had quite a progression and change. <laughs> I love that. And what made you first want to do it? I don't know. Um, I had seen a lot of people do like remodels on pop-ups and I was just I thought well I could take what I have and make something out of it so yeah, I love that Shannon thank you so much you're welcome okay have a I, great day I certainly appreciate you all right bye-bye